Now, ED heat intensifying on K. Kavita and the liquor policy scam. K. Kavita is the daughter of Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao, will be grilled by the Enforcement Directorate in the alleged liquor scam case on the 13th of March now. Kavita herself chose the date of 11th to which the ED agreed. Remember, Kavita will be confronted with her own frontman, Arun Ramachandran Pillai. The ED had named K. Kavita in its charge sheet, accusing her of holding a 65% stake in Indo Spirits, a liquor firm. The summons triggered a massive war of words between BJP and the BRS. While BRS attacked the BJP-led government of misusing central agencies, BJP has now questioned KCR's silence on the matter. Cutting across to KT Ramarao, Telangana minister. Uh, let me cut across to what he has to say, likely to be addressing the ED summons on his sister and uh, his party leader, Kavita. But hot kuch bolte rehte hain. Kyun bolte nahi adani ke baare mein? I am saying, not I am, not me as a party. But we are saying, Gautam Adani is a proxy of Narendra Modi. Will he answer it? Will he stand up to scrutiny? Will he take a lie detector test? Does he have the guts to come in front of the uh, uh, country? Aaj main puchna chahta hoon aapse, 95% of the cases that have been filed are against the opposition parties. Kya BJP mein sabhi ke, sabhi ke sabhi raja Harish Chandra ke bhai aur chachere bhai hai kya? Rishtedar hai kya? Saare BJP wale ekdam saaf sudre hai aur baaki pura Hindustan mein jitne bhi opposition parties hai. Aur main puchna chahta hoon aapse, kya kitne cases hoi is baar, is, is pe? 3,000 crore heroin pakada jata hai Adani ke port mein. 21,000 crore worth of Illicit drugs coming into the country through Adani port. Should Adani not be booked? Should he not be behind bars? Who's stopping him? What is stopping you? So my question is, this harassment, this political vendetta and intimidation might work elsewhere for Narendra Modi. He's playing with fire. And I'm sure, I'm sure he will realize it in days to come. And I'm alleging directly, Gautam Adani is proxy of Narendra Modi. The double engine he talks about, the economic engine is Adani, the political engine is Modi. Adani siphons money by way of Modi's propaganda, gets that money in the form of electoral bonds and other funds, transfers it to BJP. And BJP then uses the same money to purchase MLAs, to dethrone governments, democratically elected governments, to split parties. And then if that doesn't work, they'll set all these agencies like hunting dogs against opposition parties to demoralize us, to ensure that political vendetta is carried. And I'm telling you, we will face it. This is not the first or last, I know that. This is not the first to last. In fact, almost 12 or 13 of our leaders have faced these inquiries already, CBI, IT, indeed, including ministers, MPs, and MLAs. So this is part of that uh, charade that Narendra Modi carries on. He's dhud ka dula hua, pura dunya badnam hai. So is there not merit in the case? Is not for you and me to decide or media to decide or WhatsApp to decide and WhatsApp University Vice Chancellor Narendra Modi to decide. It is for the legal system of this country. It is for the courts of this country to decide. And I'm very confident because out of the 5,422 cases they have filed, ED, since Modi has come, only conviction is only 23 cases, which is point zero or point whatever percent that is. So now you do your math and you tell me whether I'm right or wrong. All I'm saying, uh, Aneri, is Modi only knows two things. The double engine he talks about is either Jumla or Hamla. Ya to Jumle se kaam chalao, logon ko gumraha karo, beokuf banao, vote le lo, khatam karo. Aur phir baad mein gaayab ho jao. 15 lakh bolo, 20 lakh crore package bolo, kuch bhi bakwas bolo, vote le lo, phir baay gaayab ho jao. Varna, agar baat nahi maante hain, to hamla karo, EDI, ED bejo, CBI bejo, IT bejo. Main aap se puchna chahta hoon. Aaj tak Modi jab se aaye hain 9 saal mein, कितने लोगों पे कितने बीजेपी लीडर पे आज तक केस हुए बताइए आप मुझे क्या बीजेपी में सभी के सभी राजा हरिश्चंद्र के भाई या बहन है क्या बीजेपी में कोई एक केस नहीं होता कल आप देखिएगा कल कर्नाटक में क्या हुआ कर्नाटक में एक मिले आठ करोड़ रुपए के साथ पकड़ा गया वो बोलता है तो बहुत छोटी रकम है फिर डिजिटल इंडिया क्या हुआ मोदी का गायब हो गया क्या डिजिटल करेंसी क्या हुआ डिजिटल ट्रांजेक्शन क्या हुआ और वो बोलता है एंटीसिपेटरी बेल ला मीडिया पर पाबंदी लगाता है नहीं बोलने के लिए माई तुंद्र पड़क बॉस 
so my point is my point is my limited point is they are using these agencies as tools to harass opposition parties and i'm backing it with evidence prove me otherwise and never does mr modi stand up for scrutiny he calls himself the cleanest man let him come out and take a lie detector test in front of the country and tell him tell the entire country that 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 tell tell, him, tell the tell the entire country that he is not gautam adani's proxy that he is not bit i am not saying it sri lankan government is saying it anyri i am saying sri lankan government ne jo aarop aap pe lagaya sri lanka ka sarkar ne jo aarop aap pe lagaya modi ji agar himmat hai to aa gaya ho bolo ki wo galat hai bol bolne do main thodi aarop laga raha hu sri lankan government ne lagaya so g to g kya g to g gautam to gotabaya facilitated by modi who doesn't know it so my point is to say that i am holier than thou and to say that all these agencies are you know virt virtues paragons of virtue is absolute nonsense they are tools in the hands of mr modi katputli hai ye to sab pata chal raha hai usme kya hai to main bas yahi bat main main aap sabhi se yahi kehna chahta hu ki jo bhi koshish aap kar rahe ho demoralize karne ki opposition parties ko ya humko we'll face it my our mlc will go and appear in front of ed and whatever consequences legally that will come we'll face it we'll go to people we'll explain to the whole to them the whole thing and then we'll see what consequences come of we'll face it but will they have the guts do they have the guts bl santosh can he come and face inquiry here does modi have the guts to actually come forward and say gautam adani is not his proxy so let people decide that ayani chinna chinna vishayalu brother nenu em antunna ante chinna chinna vishayalu avanni ultimate ga vicharana nedurkone satta maakundi right mem paripomu number 1 ne vaalla laga pirigi pandalam gaadu daddamalam gaadu 100% edurkuntam bharata nyaya vyavastha meeda ma gauravam undi తప్పకుండా విచారణ ఎదుర్కొంటుంది నా క్యాబినెట్ మీటింగ్ ఉంది దయచేసి మా టైం